Okay, so this is interesting here. We're going to go take a look at that uh, quartz vein we exposed a bit more a couple weeks ago. We had some XRF, but on our way up, we decided to take a different route and uh, looks like recent logging they exposed more. I don't know if it's the same quartz vein. It looks similar. You got your mica there, a little bit of pyrite. Anyway, there's quartz exposed right here underneath this tree. Up there, we'll take a look at some samples of those after, and I'll tell you some XRF results we had from XRFing the other day. So look at the quartz here. So it looks like this is all quartz here. I'm going to try and pull out some samples, see if we can see some mineralization. Yeah, so this is definitely the vein here. And there's definitely mineral in it, it's just how much. Let's hammer some of this open. See if we can find something. Not seeing any mineralization so far. You can see just how buggy this is. So it could have been mineralized at some point. Lots of mica in there. Lots of voids in this thing. Further up, we found more buggy quartz here. There's an actual vein there. Pieces all over the place. Again, they're weakly pyrotized. Up here is where they sunk a shaft, six meters deep. Right up on the top there. This is kind of the dump area, just samples all around. This is the shaft, you can see more here, samples. Six meter deep shaft, before this was all overgrown. We went down, sampled it. Other than the occasional speck of malachite, there was nothing on it. It's one meter wide, just over one meter. And the new deposit that we found is over down there. So let's take a look at some of those samples and then we'll tell you the XRF results. Part of the vein exposed down here. Some of the samples that we've dug out and that the logging company dug out for us. So I will just show a few. So this is definitely high grade calcopyrite. There's some boronite in there. And some other mineral. The odd thing is the boronite is magnetic. Generally you don't see sulfides other than pyrotite that are magnetic unless they've had the sulfur roasted off. So all this blue here, when you hammer it initially it looks like this. If you haven't watched our previous video on this I'll leave a link in the description for that so you can see. So we're hammering more samples open before we go down. This is a good example here. 
of your calcopyrite and then your magnetic iron like mineral which is believed to be boronite so within a matter of a day this stuff right here will turn closer to that and all this blue in here so let's take a look at a few of these samples here that I just pulled out so this stuff is running pretty even throughout the calcopyrate you have around two ounces of gold per ton. Similar to this stuff here, your calcopyrite obviously has more copper. This has minimal copper. And uh, we're looking at a maximum XRF of 23.56% copper in this. Here's another one I just pulled out. Very nice looking. A few more samples we pulled off the vein here. Some really nice looking mineral in there. So, about an ounce of silver, two ounces of gold, and an average of about 12 to 15% copper. One of the samples of really dull looking calcopyrite had a bit better XRF and it came out as 24% uh, copper and we had 110 grams per ton gold. About two ounces of silver per ton. We are going to be sending some of this in for an ICP and fire say. We'll do a follow up video on that because it's going to take probably close to a month to be able to get the results back. One last gorgeous one before we head down.